In Health Watch tonight, when it comes to a stroke, time is critical. Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us how a new drug may be crucial in getting the minutes down before that narrow window of time expires. The preferred treatment for stroke patients right now has to be given within three hours of the first symptoms. But doctors are looking at a new drug that puts the brain into hibernation to keep brain cells alive. It can literally mean the difference between paralysis or walking out of the hospital. 29-year-old Victoria Bernard has a lot to be grateful for. I'm just one of those lucky few. It may not seem like it, but two years ago, Victoria suffered a stroke. And I had full left side paralysis and numbness. I could not speak. Victoria was rushed to the hospital, but she wasn't given the standard stroke treatment. Instead, Victoria was placed in a trial for a new neuroprotective drug called nirinotide. So most pa patients, unfortunately, are not eligible for TPA. In fact, only about 30% of patients presenting with a stroke arrive at a hospital within three hours to receive TPA. Of the patients who arrive in time, only 40 to 50 percent are medically eligible. But this neuroprotective drug can keep those cells that are not getting oxygen, that are not getting blood in the brain, to be in hibernation, to be able to kind of stay still and not die in the process. To prevent further damage until stroke treatment can be issued, Victoria doesn't know for sure whether she got the drug or a placebo but she believes she got the drug. I was fine in days, not weeks. Victoria's doctor considers her complete recovery amazing. And he told me, if you came into my office and you told me you had had a stroke, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> Standard recovery from a stroke can take years. According to the National Stroke Association, only about 10% of stroke patients recover completely. Most will have some form of impairment. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News.